fun fact for you. When we're not immersed in the latest video games here at Team Triple Jump, you'll most likely find us binging box sets like our lives depend on it. And in recent years, the industry has even realised that there's a significant crossover between people who like to watch TV and people who like to play video games. And so the world has been gifted a number of gems. Live action adaptations such as The Witcher and animated series like Castlevania have both proved that A, shows based on video games can be hugely popular, and B, they can also be rather good. It's probably for both of these reasons that so many more video games are getting the television treatment, and companies like Paramount, Amazon and Netflix have begun production on a number of gaming related projects. For this list, we're looking at the upcoming series based on some of our favourite video game titles that we're really excited to watch as soon as they're released. I'm Ashton from Triple Jump and here are 10 upcoming TV shows based on video games that we can't wait to binge. Number 10. The Untitled Knuckles series, Paramount Plus. Aside from some, um, interesting initial design choices, which, thanks to the power of the internet, were quickly rectified, the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog movie wasn't half bad. It was so okay, in fact, that it's getting not just one, but two sequels and a spin-off TV series starring the hot-headed echidna, Knuckles. The show was announced in February 2022 and is set to retain the style of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, i.e. live action with animated elements. Who's going to be voicing everyone's favourite quill-covered monotreme, I hear you ask? Why, none other than SAG award-winning, smooth-talking Idris Elba, of course. He'll be reprising his role from 2022's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Nothing concrete has been revealed of the plot just yet, so the only thing we know is that the focus will be squarely on Knuckles. The good news is that we shouldn't have to wait too long to find out, as the series is due to premiere in 2023 exclusively on Paramount+. Non-American fans need not panic about missing out on the Knuckles series, though, as the streaming service is due to become available in the UK and several other European countries in summer 2022. Could this be the start of the extended Sonic Cinematic Universe? Gosh, we certainly hope so. Number 9. Tomb Raider – Netflix It's probably fair to say, thus far, attempts to adapt the Tomb Raider series into movies have fallen somewhat flat. The best of the three films sits at a lowly 51% on Rotten Tomatoes and 48 out of 100 on Metacritic, which, we can all agree, isn't great. Lara Croft is an icon of gaming and she deserves to be treated with far more respect. There is a glimmer of hope for the action heroine though, as Netflix revealed in January 2021 that an animated adaptation of her exploits is in the works. The anime style series will be set after the events of Square Enix's reboot trilogy, and based on what we know of the game, it's expected that the plot will follow Lara as she travels the world and embarks on Indiana Jones-esque adventures. It's still quite early days, but Netflix have revealed the show will be written by up-and-coming screenwriter Tasha Hugh, though when it will be released is anyone's guess. Not too much is known about the cast either, but it has been revealed that Earl Balon will be reprising the role of Jonah from the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy, and that Agent Peggy Carter, aka Hayley Atwell, will be voicing Lara Croft. Number 8. Captain Laserhawk – A Blood Dragon Remix – Netflix If we asked you which of the Far Cry games was most likely to get its own TV adaptations, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon probably wouldn't be the first title you'd think of. With that said though, the more we think about it, the more excited we become about the prospect of a series based on the 2013 standalone expansion. Captain Laserhawk A Blood Dragon Remix was officially announced in 2021 and is to be helmed by Adi Shankar, who you might know from his work on 2012's Dread and the Netflix animated series Castlevania. In an interview with Collider, Shankar confirmed the series is fully in production and teased a multiversal story. The show is set to feature the alter egos of a number of Ubisoft characters and, like the game, it will pay homage to the action films, cartoons and video games of the 1980s. Sadly, we don't know much else about Captain Laserhawk a hawk, other than that Michael Bean and Phil Namar have voice roles in the show. If Blood Dragon isn't really your scene but you're still itching for a Far Cry adaptation, then you'll be pleased to know that Netflix also has a second Far Cry series in the works, though the details on that are currently scarcer than Rocking Horses Poop. Number 7. Cyberpunk Edgerunners – Netflix 
to say that the cyberpunk franchise had a bit of a rough time in the past couple of years is probably somewhat of an understatement. Although Cyberpunk 2077 is now a pretty decent game thanks to many, many patches, its disastrous launch has left a sour taste in many players' mouths. Hopefully, the release of Cyberpunk Edge Runners will help to sweeten things up a little bit. The animated sci-fi series was first announced in 2020 and is due to begin streaming on Netflix at some point in 2022. Yoshiki Usa and Masahiko Otsuka of Star Wars Visions and Little Witch Academia fame have written the series and Trigger, the studio behind Kill the Kill, are producing the anime. Though it will take place in Night City, it has been confirmed that Edge Runners will tell a completely different story to Cyberpunk 2077. Instead, the show will focus on a street kid who chooses to become a mercenary in a society obsessed with technology and cybernetic body modification. Despite the show's release date being imminent, at the time of writing, none of the show's voice actors have been revealed to the public. Let's just hope this has been done on purpose to maintain an air of mystery, and not because we're about to get another big yellow delay notice. Number 6. Devil May Cry Netflix. Oh boy, Adi Shankar Shaw sure is a busy chap, isn't he? Not only is he ploughing ahead with Captain Laserhawk, but he's got Devil May Cry series in the works as well. Someone fetch that guy a nice big cup of tea. He's earned it. Though Devil May Cry was only announced in late 2021, Shankar has already confirmed plenty of details. Naturally, the series will be focused on the demon hunting exploits of Dante, who will be joined on screen by Lady and his twin brother Virgil. The first series is set to run for eight episodes, though Shankar has stated that he doesn't intend for the story to finish there, having planned out a multi-season arc. He's also confirmed that he's acquired the rights to Devil May Cry himself, so that, and I quote, the Hollywood jabronis can't f*** yeah. it up. Based on the scores of failed video game adaptations we've been subjected to over the years, he may be onto something. We don't yet know exactly when the series will be released, but since production isn't slated to begin until 2022, it's probably going to be a little while before Dante and Powers make their way onto Netflix. Though none of the cast have been announced just yet, Shankar has somewhat hilariously confirmed that Chris Pratt will not be among them. Number 5. Assassin's Creed Netflix well, 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 if it isn't Adi Shankar back at it again with the video game adaptations. Seriously dude, we're all very grateful, but we are getting a little worried you're overworking yourself. The Assassin's Creed Netflix series won't be the first time that an adaptation of the franchise has been attempted, as in 2016, a movie starring Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard hit theatres. Sadly, although critical consensus was that the film was better than most video game adaptations, that's kind of like saying that a severe cold is better than most respiratory infections. With that said, with Ali Shankar as executive producer and diehard writer Jeb Stewart penning the episodes, we're quietly confident that the animated series might just be half decent. Though no plot details have been shared thus far, the Assassin's Creed franchise has more than enough in its back catalogue to sustain a TV show for many seasons. There is also no word of who's in it or when we can expect it to air, and all we know is that when it does see a release, it'll be available exclusively to Netflix subscribers. Here's hoping it's better than the movie, though let's face it, it can't be much worse. Number 4. Fallout – Amazon Prime when you think of streaming services that produce the best original shows, Amazon Prime isn't necessarily the first one that comes to mind. With such banging series as The Boys, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and The Legend of Vox Machina to its name though, the platform is becoming quite the contender in the original content arena. Reports of a Fallout adaptation from Amazon Studios first surfaced in 2020, and it has since been confirmed that co-creators of Westworld, Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan will be producing the series. Geneva robertson Dorette of Captain Marvel fame and Silicon Valley's Graham Wagner have also signed on to the project as showrunners. And Todd Howard will be taking a break from re-re-re-releasing Skyrim to act as one of the show's executive producers. Additionally, it's also been confirmed that Walton Goggins, whose acting credits include Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight and Sons of Anarchy, will be starring in Fallout in a lead role. Though no one, as of yet, will be willing to comment on who he'll be playing. As it stands, there's no concrete release date for Fallout, but since production isn't starting until sometime in 2022, it looks like it's going to be a little while yet. Number 3. Resident Evil – Netflix It's fair to say that the Resident Evil series hasn't been hugely successful when it comes to film and TV adaptations. In fact, aside from 2012's Resident Evil Damnation, which currently holds a critic score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, pretty much every other adaptation of the Resident Evil series has been pretty plops. Still, we're nothing if not optimistic, and we have every faith that the good folks on Netflix will finally give Resident Evil the treatment it deserves. 
According to the streaming giant, the series will focus on two different timelines before and after the outbreak of the T-Virus. The first is set to follow Billy and Jade, the teenage daughters of Albert Wesker, as they move to New Raccoon City. Shockingly, the town is full of dark secrets and it isn't long before the girls begin to suspect their father's involvement in it all. The second timeline flashes forward to a world overrun by the infected and tells a story of an adult Jade as she fights to survive the zombie apocalypse. At the time of writing, Netflix hasn't announced when the show will air, but the best guess is that the eight episode series will land on the streaming platform at some point in 2022. Number 2. The Untitled Castlevania Series Netflix If you haven't taken the time to check out Netflix's adaptation of the Castlevania series, which premiered in 2017, then we highly recommend you do. Even if you're not a fan of the games, the animated dark fantasy centering on Dracula's cursed protagonist Trevor Belmont is still a must watch. Plus, it consists of only four short seasons, so it's very easy to binge over the course of a few evenings. Though fans may be upset that the show was concluded in 2021, there is good news news, as Netflix has announced another series is in production. Rather than being a direct spin-off of the previous series, instead it will look at different portions of the Castlevania timeline. The new show will be set during the French Revolution and will focus on the exploits of Rich to Belmont, descendant of Trevor Belmont and protagonist of Castlevania Dracula X. Aside from this, we don't really know too much about the upcoming project. It was formally announced by Netflix in June 2021, but thus far, the details have been few and far between. So we don't yet know when it's due to begin streaming. If Netflix's previous Castlevania adaptation is anything to go by though, it should be well worth the wait. And number one, The Last of Us, HBO. By all accounts, Naughty Dog's The Last of Us is one of the greatest games ever made. It tells the captivating story of Joel, a smuggler doing what he can to survive in a world ravaged by the Cordyceps virus, and Ellie, the 14-year-old girl that he's attempting to escort into the custody of the Fireflies owing to her immunity to the infection, which was brought to life by the fantastic voice performances of Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, who played Joel and Ellie respectively. With all that in mind, HBO's upcoming TV series based on the game has some awfully large shoes to fill. So far, we know that the Mandalorian himself, Pedro Pascal, will be taking on the role of Joel, whilst Game of Thrones' is Bella Ramsey will be playing the teen firecracker Ellie. Not much has been revealed about the storyline, but executive producer and writer Neil Druckmann have confirmed that some parts of the show will be fairly faithful to the game, whilst others may deviate entirely. Based on what we've seen so far, the show is shaping up to be a smash hit, and we're massively excited to see our favourite characters finally making their television debut. 